All right, so what we're going to be looking at is uh, two sections. They're not uh, the back-to-back, -back, so they're taken from two separate sections, putting them together because they're very similar. Uh, arithmetic sequences and arithmetic series. Okay, um, So that's what we're going to be looking at. So we're going to be looking at lists of numbers and then the sum of the list of numbers. Okay. So first thing, an arithmetic sequence. So what an arithmetic sequence is a sequence with a common difference. So you're adding the same thing or subtracting the same thing over and over and over to the numbers to continue the sequence. Okay. So again, you're going to be adding or subtracting the same number. So if you look at the first one, we've got 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. Uh, so if you look and see we've got 2 to 5, that's 3, 5 to 8, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So what we have here is that our common difference for this first one would be a positive 3. We're adding 3 to every single one. And since it's the same all the way across, it is an arithmetic sequence. The next one, 45, then 41, 37, 33, as you see we have a common difference of minus 4. We're subtracting 4 all the way across. Okay. Now if one of them does not match up with the all the others, then it is not an arithmetic sequence. They have to have the same difference all the way across. Okay. If any of them are different, then it is not an arithmetic sequence. Okay. Alright, so the formulas for arith or the formula for arithmetic. Um, the explicit formula for this, so to find any term on an arithmetic sequence, okay, what you would do is that you use this this formula right here. A1 means the first term. Okay. So the very first term of the sequence, whatever it is, the starting one. N is whatever term you want to find. So as you see here, if you want to find the 10th term, N would be 10. Okay. And then D is the common difference. Okay. So if we look at this one, we got 5, 11, 17. First thing we want to find is it arithmetic, first off. Well, it's add 6, add 6. So our difference, our D, would be 6, positive 6. So if we want to find the 12th term, we would go A of 12 would equal the first term, 5, plus 12 minus 1 times 6. Okay. And then we would plug all that in, simplify, and solve and we see that we get 71 would be the 12th term of that sequence. Of course, that's when we plug them all in. Okay, um, You could do it by hand. It would take a while. This is a formula so that you're able to do it fairly quickly. So when you do this formula, you need to know what term you want to find, the first term, and you'd have to know what the difference is. Okay. Now, arithmetic mean. The arithmetic mean is the average of the two numbers. And so arithmetic mean is pretty is pretty straightforward. You just take the two numbers, add them together, and divide by two. Okay. So add the two numbers together, divide by two. Arithmetic, adding, subtracting. Okay. So uh, the arithmetic mean of five and nine would be five plus nine. Five plus nine is fourteen. So you'd go five plus nine, which is fourteen, and then divide that by two, which gets you your answer of about seven. Okay. So that's arithmetic mean. And it kind of tells you the number that could be between if you're given a gap. So if you're told you have an arithmetic sequence that's five and then you don't know the number and then it's nine, you can find that by taking the arithmetic mean of it. Okay, And that would be seven because you go five and then seven and then nine. Okay, okay series. Arithmetic series are a series with in which you're going to add error, you're going to add the numbers together. Okay, so you're going to combine whatever it is. Now, when you do these and you want to find the sum of them, basically a series is, is adding or subtracting. When you want to find the sum of a sequence, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to identify: is it a finite sequence or is it an infinite sequence? If it's a finite sequence, like this first example, that means there's a stopping point. Okay, You see this one, it starts here, 
and then it stops at 14. It doesn't go past 14. Okay, That's finite. It stops. It finishes. The second one is infinite. You have a starting point, but as you see, it just continues to go. That dot, dot, dot means it continues on the same pattern. And so that's infinite. We're not able to find an arithmetic series, the sum of an arithmetic sequence, if it's infinite. Because the numbers just keep growing. It keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And we're unable to do that. So it needs to be finite. If it's not finite, so it doesn't have a stopping point, if it does not have a stopping point, we cannot find the sum of the numbers. Okay. Now here's the formula for the series. Uh, S sub n, this means that it wants the sum of the numbers, which is what these are, are doing. So you're trying to find the sum of them. is equal to n over 2 of a1 plus a n. So the things you need is you have to know how many terms you're adding together. You need to know the first term and you need to know the last term. So an example would be if you see, we don't need the difference here. So an example would be if I were to told you the first term is 2, the last term is 80, and there are, uh, I don't know, uh, 4, there are 4, uh, no, not 4, there are 12 numbers in between. So n is equal to 12. So all we'd have to do is we just go 80 plus 2, which would be 82. And then we would multiply that by 12 and divide it by 2. And that would tell us the sum of all the numbers, of the 12 numbers that go from 12, or from 2 to 8. Okay. So looking at this, we've got a finite, we've got a stopping point on this. Okay. So what we have here is that, what is our A1? Our A1 in this case is 48. Here's our A1. Our A n is 120. And then how many n's do we or how many numbers do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven numbers. So that means our n would be seven. So now when we set it up, it'd be s of seven is equal to seven over two times forty-eight plus one twenty. And then you just calculate it through and we get five eighty-eight. Okay. So as you see here, what we're doing is that we're adding twelve to each one of these. 12 to each one. So the next one would be like 132. Uh, if we add 132 to that and then we change this to 132 and then we change this to 8, we're able to get the same number as if we were to add 132 to this. And so it's it's kind of carries over and it continues. So that's the way to find the sum of the finite series. Okay. All right. So for your IRAT, what you need to do is you need to find the eighth and the twelfth term of this sequence, 32, 36, 40, 44, and it keeps going. So find the eighth and the twelfth term. Okay, so use your formula. And then after that, find the summation or the, the, the series, the sum of the numbers of the first eight and the first twelve of this sequence. Okay, so once you find eight and twelve, okay, which you're going to use your A, your first the AN formula, you're going to use the SN formula for these, for the eighth and the twelfth term again. Okay? So that is arithmetic sequences and series.